Welcome to Electric Bike Company. I wanted to make a quick video on the customizer. So you can either go through and scroll down to each one of the models that you like and learn a little bit more about them and then customize from there. Or you can go back up to our, our top of our main page and you can go to the customizer here and just pull down that uh, drop down menu or you can go to this little customizer here. So let's say we go to that customizer. You get a choice of the seven different sort of uh, frames here with a well, basically a white canvas. So let's go ahead and let's choose the Model R here. On the Model R, you can read a little bit about it here and you can go into these little learn more uh, links and you get a bunch of options. I think it's about 18. So you can choose your different colors here. I really like the red color and you can go through and choose your uh, four color wheel size. So the 20 inch, 26 inch or 24 inch wheel size I'm a little taller, so I'll go 26. 20. If you're a little bit shorter than 5 foot 5, I would suggest a 24 inch. Then it's got the uh, the chain guard. So a nice chain guard option there is also to match to your bike. Otherwise, you can just go with something a little bit uh, different on it. But I'm quite plain Jane, so I'll choose that one. Also, the rims uh, you can choose. I quite like the brown and tan uh, tires. And they also the puncture resistance. Just, um, then they go kind of well with that. Uh, red. The silver spokes are good on silver trim, but I'm going to go with black trim, so I'm going to choose the black spokes. I also like the sort of low profile fenders on, on a model, model R, so I'll choose those instead of none, or you can get sports fenders. Here we can actually do a little accent, so something like a yellow or a blue. I quite like the blue, it's, uh, it's a really fun blue, and then there's a little uh, play button here. So if you clicked on that play button, you can actually see realistically what it's like. So on the computer screen, you don't really get the exact feel, but here you can click on these and you get a realistic preview of how your bike's actually going to look. Or you can come here underneath the uh, selection and you can get a realistic preview just if you, you know, you want to kind of take a look at those on this side. But they're going to list them here for you. So I'm going to go there with the yellow. Battery size, this is kind of convenient because you can choose just a regular 60 mile range or you go all the way up to 150 miles, uh, 30 amp hour battery. So it's it's huge. And then you're going to get a basket in the front. But I'm going to go with the standard uh, battery range. I think that's more than enough. It's two or three hours on the bike and I am not that fit. So I'm going to stay with that. I, I like the sort of the flat uh, rack in the front because I, I want to put a nice little trunk bag up. I do a little bit of photography and I like my keys and my uh, cell phone uh, in there. And then I'll go back and I will uh, add a back rack on the back here. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll do the color of the front rack on there. And then I'll do the back rack. Uh, back rack, I'll probably go and go with that accent of the yellow. Maybe I'll, stay, I'll, I'll go with the red. Maybe that looks probably a little bit better. I really like the crate. It's uh, for surfing and wet stuff, so it kind of drips through there. But then also, I like the wa waterproof uh, saddlebags, where I can put a whole bunch of stuff and sort of after workout drinks, uh, towels, etc. inside there. Being a bit taller, I like the uh, chopper seat, and you can go through. As I say, I like the trim. I like the black trim, and in fact, because I'm about six foot four, I really like the. Uh, the chopper seat. I lean back on it and I go cruising around. The jumbo seat's also good for me because I'm a heavier guy, but our typical standard seats are, are nice and big and comfortable too. Then uh, I like the leather grips because I have a leather wallet and it works for me and it's after time it actually starts getting nice and sort of tacky. But rubber is also nice uh, if you feel that you want a little bit more sponge. I do the suspension seat post, the Suntour is also is good. Uh, we have a nice sort of uh, regular Satori um, seat post, but the Suntour gives it a little bit more height and being long legged, I quite like that. And you can add a, uh, a surfboard attachment if you like on that. Here is the helmets. Of course, we kind of are very really, uh, big on helmets and safety, lighting and reliability. So we always have the helmets available. And there you can either do sort of like a contrasting color or a similar color. I quite like the red. It goes with my other bikes and it's got front and back lights and CPSC approved. You have got this really nice trim. As I say, I like the black and the black strapping. It is, uh, here you have a choice of the drivetrain. 
I really like the uh, direct drive train because you've really got a, what, uh, a, th a uh, throttle and pedal assist. So I'll go with that. The twist throttle is quite a good option if you're used to riding motorbikes, but I'll go again with the, uh, with the thumb throttle. The upgrade toolkit has a bunch of things in there. You can actually read all above all about the uh, upgrade upgraded technology so your package. That is really nice. You've got turn signals and brake lights and high beam, low beam and electric horn and a whole bunch of other things. But what I really like on it is the it has a automatic light sensor that turns your lights on when uh, under low visibility conditions. So it's an automatic uh, light sensor. I love that. So I add that. Anti-theft alarm system is really good because it gets you come with two little uh, remotes and uh, yeah, somebody wants to pinch your bike, the, the alarm goes off and it's really loud. <laughs> the uh, U-lock is really fun. There's a whole bunch of different locks over here, whichever one, if you want to go with the um, Ablis Bordeaux lock, that's also pretty fun. And then our chain lock is really good, nice because it can actually lock up two bikes. But I like the single one. I, it sneaks in nicely on the side of the bike. It's hard and steel, very difficult to cut that. Uh, I go with the upgraded toolkit because I don't want to get um, sort of stranded on the road. And this actually has a hand pump and a little CO2 canister, which is cool. Uh, upgraded uh, warranty, that's good if you live far away that we can warranty your bike. But uh, the, the bikes get a 10 year frame and motor warranty. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to choose that. I like the cadence sensor simply for the fact that you've got a throttle and you don't really need to put too much torque on to get going. But people that are really sort of die-hard uh, bike fans and really like the feel of, of pedaling and want to feel a little bit more realistically from pull-off, that's not a bad option, but a uh, cadence option is fine for me. And here's a choice of your different chargers. I quite like the booster charger because you can charge your bike within sort of one to two hours and actually 80% of the charge gets done within the first 20% of the time. So that's a really nice option there. So I would choose that. So these, this is the way that the customizer works. If you want to go through and choose your own, you can just play around with it. I'm going to stay on this page because I really like this. You can actually download the image and keep it for future reference or take a screenshot. So just a little tutorial on how our uh, that's just a realistic look. I wanted to see how that yellow looked, how our uh, customizer works. Hope that helps and we will see you on the next video. Oh.